Hey guys, sorry that was the dryer going off. I wanted to show you a few more things um, that I purchased from uh, Dollar General the other day. Um, I know that they are trying desperately to get rid of their spring um, merchandise and that would include apparel and shoes and I wanted to show you um, and I'm in the kitchen so if the birds start screaming or the dog starts acting crazy or the dogs act crazy um, I want to show you Ace can you say hi to everybody say hello he is currently playing Ace Sorry, I don't mean to make you guys dizzy, but he's playing with a racquetball that is absolutely indestructible that my husband uses. Um, evidently, the ones he uses um, are really good balls because the dog cannot destroy them. And Ace will destroy anything that he can fit in his mouth. I went to... Uh, the store uh, went to Walmart, which I absolutely despise Walmart. I despise it. And I had to buy a new, if you can see over there on the floor, just excuse the 50-pound uh, bag of dog food. I could not lift it. I, I barely got it in the uh, cart in the store. And when I left, I had to get the young man that was um, putting the carts away to help me get it in the car. And I only could get it as far as the door um, when I came home, the dogs had not had breakfast, and I had spent longer than I anticipated to go shopping. So um, I had to just drop the bag right there and feed them. Um, but that mat that Roxanne is looking at, I had another one, and Ace absolutely chewed it into crumbs. Literally chewed it into crumbs because I decided to leave him out of his kennel to see how he would do. Roxanne, don't you go potty on that rug. Mommy will be very upset. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. If you got to go outside, that's what we'll do. I think we better uh, keep an eye on her. But anyway, you can see the kennel and that was my mistake because he destroyed. So I had to go get another one. And I went to Walmart specifically um, to get dog food. And that's the only time I really go there. Unless, well, I'm sorry you lost your ball. Now the dog's going to start whining because he's, his ball has gone underneath the counter there. But anyhow, um, so um, it was David's birthday yesterday. He just turned 66, October 28th. We had a nice dinner um, that the family cooked, and we ate outside, believe it or not. Um, today it's in the 80s, but they're saying that after today there's going to be a cold front. So we, um, or I decided we would cook, um, we cooked out, but um, my son-in-law and daughter brought all the food over, and they cooked outside, but I had already set the table, and I took some pictures and I will be posting those uh, on my Facebook page if you guys care to go see. But anywho, so after, you know, running around and, and going to a couple dollar generals, um, and that is something I would advise uh, many of you to do if you're interested because um, one dollar general may have an abundant supply of certain items. I think the dog has to go potty. And Ace, get back. Roxanne, you gotta go potty. Do you have to go potty? Come on. No, Sky. I mean, uh, Ace. Do you gotta go potty? I don't know what you Sorry. This, it, it's a mess. It is a mess. My house is a mess. What can I say? Um, but anyhow, so, um, uh, what was I saying? Um, but anyway, we ate outside, and we just had a nice, nice time. And so prior to that, though, I went to Dollar General, and I, um, oh, I know what I was saying. There, where I live, um, there's a main highway that leads from my, my county 
to several other counties. It's just a straight shot all the way through on both sides. And um, there are probably, I know for a fact there's at least four or five Dollar Generals just on that highway alone that are dispersed like so many miles apart, which is ridiculous. But so I went to uh, one, two, I went to three Dollar Generals. It was a straight shot. And then by the time I did all that, it was late and the dogs had not had breakfast. It was getting closer to lunch and I knew they were starving to death. So, so anywho, but let me just share with you the first Dollar General that I went to, um, the lady in that store had a table set up front and I um, have the Dollar General app. So I um, went online and uh, looked to see, you know, what they had and she had all of the clearance items mainly um, up front and these flowers here um, I think I have the receipt um, in front of me again another very lengthy uh, receipt right here and um, I'm trying to re see um, they were oh they were 30 cents a piece these were 30 cents a piece and this bucket, if you remember the bucket, I had gotten it the other day from Dollar General and it was like, I don't know, 40 cents or something. It was really cheap. But, uh, and my husband had gotten me these flowers. So when I set the table for his birthday, I used these and I got like six of them, I think six or seven of them. And, um, like I said, they were cheaper than the Dollar Tree. I mean, I got two for under a dollar. So I got like, I don't know, six or seven um, bunches of these for 30 cents a piece to decorate the table. That was one of the things that I got. Um, I also purchased this windowsill micro green grow kit that was normally um, $6. And... Um, it was, hmm, let me see, I'm trying to see, uh, da, 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 da. let me see, I'm sorry, I should just go down the list, okay, I got a hanging sign, I'll do that, I'll try to go down the list, um, this sign right here was only 10 cents, I know it's a springtime, it's just cardboard, and all the more reason not to pay more than you should. 10 cents for that little sign and again it's nothing that we we have to have it's you know but for 10 cents i think if it was at a thrift store they probably would have charged like a dollar for it even though that's what it sold for normally but you know doll, uh, thrift stores are getting ridiculous on their prices but maybe they would have sold it for less but i ended up paying 10 cents and i know i would have never gotten that for 10 cents like I said, the artificial greenery that um, I used to decorate um, the table, they were like 30 cents each. Um, um, and then I got, um, let me show you, I'll show, come to the $6 one in a minute. But all of these right here were 15 cents a piece. Normally, they had some for $2 and then they had these for $1.50. I'm not sure why some were two dollars and some were a dollar fifty unless the dollar fifty ones were from last year maybe and because there was a time you know retail stores like dollar general and family dollar used to box up merchandise uh seasonal merchandise and they would inventory it and and then put it in the back for storage until the next year but um now it seems like they're willing to go down like 90 percent so i got these like i said for 15 cents and i got one to three boxes of the impatients for next year and then I got these I got three boxes of these uh, for 15 cents I tried to grab the dollar fifty one so I'd only have to pay 15 cents but I'm going to use these next year and then uh, let's see um, oh I got the kids these sh they were like toys they were like finger shooters they were only normally like a dollar I got them for 10 cents so I got two of those so the kids could play with them last night in the yard I got two of these little um, coin purses which they're in the car the, you know the little um, colorful coin purses that you know like a six-year-old would have put their lunch money in or whatever I got one from Nevaeh 
and I got one for um, Alexis or Lulu, my granddaughter, um, for um, like 10 cents a piece. Um, I'm sorry, excuse me. They were 30 cents a piece, excuse me. Then I got um, these headbands that they had um, that were, they were 90 cents. And I think I got one, two, three, four of those. They're in the other room. So I'm not going to show you those. Um, but I also found these. I got three of them. And I can't remember what they came out to be. They're not expensive to start with. But when you, um, you know, take 90% off, I can't remember, but it was very cheap. Um, I'm trying to find the, uh, I see all the greenery, um, border mix, border mix, border mixes, the headbands. I see those. What else? Oh, I don't have the other receipt. That's why, because I had, like I said, I had gone to some other Dollar Generals. This was normally $4, and I can't remember if these came up like 40 cents. So I got, um, I had bought a small one uh, this past summer, but it was inadequate because it's so small that it was worthless to even try to water anything with it. So I got um, two of these that they had left, and I gave my friend one. And I plan on giving my girlfriend um, one of these. And I'm going to keep the, um, the white one because, you know, I like white. So I'm going to keep that one. And um, also, um, the reason I can't tell you the price on this receipt is because, but these were like, I don't know, they were cheap. Uh, they were over 90% off. And I got two of them. And here's what it looks like when you open it. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, plant these and but I'm going to repaint these um, and shabby them up so they look cute and they match my kitchen for next year um, when spring comes I'll be planting these when spring comes and then um, if you remember the other day I showed you these um, they had a bunch of these on clearance still they were like 40 cents or something and then I found this thing here um, for like 40 cents yeah they're plastic and everything but um, I actually got this one, and then I got those, you know, the old-fashioned sprinklers that, um, move back and forth, you know, um, you connect the hose and it kind of sprays back and forth. Well, I got two of those because next, uh, next year I'm going to get one of them split hose attachment things, and I am going to, um, use those to water my, um, my yard or my my plants um but i was talking on my last video about making a gift basket can you imagine okay i showed you this um these gloves that had the matching hat uh, or the little hat the summer hat with the velcro which i kept one for myself and one for my friend but remember i mentioned um taking the little buckets and making a gift basket out of it. Can you imagine um, taking like a couple of these boxes right here for 30 cents each, one of these little um, sprinkler doflatches, one of these um, garden pail watering cans, um, maybe the gloves with a little hat, and one of these cute temperature gauge doflatches and even if you wanted to really go all out and maybe even put like a um, little sprinkler doflatchy you could probably come away with a beautiful gift basket for like three dollars I mean super super cheap um, I didn't show you because they're outside but I got these um, pillows that they had they uh, she had them in a box they had not even been opened because they were seasonal and they're putting up Christmas. So she, the new manager at the store that I usually go to, saw that I was scarfing up all the, um, not all, but quite a few of the 90% off stuff. And she asked me 
if I would be interested in some what she thought were little lounge chairs. Well, come to find out, when she went and got the box, they were cushions, um, outdoor cushions, with red and blue and green. Um, almost looked like a Pioneer Women style, but it's not Pioneer Women, of course. But it was that those colors, and I got six of them for three dollars and twenty cents. The box had never been opened. They had come in as a, um, you know, a um, what do you call that when uh, uh, a lot of six in the box. And again, I paid. Uh, uh, three dollars and twenty cents so when I set the picnic table up last night for the birthday um, I used those on the chairs along with this pretty flower arrangement and the galvanized bucket and um, I also put my husband went across the street and bought some ice and we put it in another galvanized bucket and set that on the table and it was really really pretty and of course uh, and I forgot to mention one of the gifts uh, that I got him were um, some, they were indoor type, well, they were like um, chuglas, which is like uh, plastic sandals, okay? We know that Dollar General doesn't sell, you know, fancy uh, genuine leather, you know, $50 sandals, but these sandals, my husband plays racquetball, so um, he takes a shower, so these, I got him two pair of men's size plastic type um, sandals or chuglas, whatever you want to call them, chuglas in Spanish, and they were a dollar a piece. They were normally six to eight dollars, and they were less, actually one pair was less than a dollar, and the other pair was a dollar, and then they had a camouflage lunch style um, insulated container that you could put a sandwich in a drink and some chips and maybe a snack or some fruit. Um, and I ended up paying like 40 cents. So his birthday gift uh, with the two pair of sandals, which he could wear the one pair, like I said, here at the house, like slippers. And the other pair he would use when he plays racquetball and he takes a shower. Uh, and he, you know, doesn't want to get his feet, you know, on the surface where someone else is taking a shower because you never know they might have athlete's feet or whatever. And, um, or they're good to wear, like if you want to go outside and wash the car uh, and his feet got wet because they're plastic and they would dry. Really nice. I've even thrown them in the um, wash. And let me show you here. I'm wearing, whoops, I thought I shut it off. Ace, you're in the way. I got these um, for a dollar as well. They were normally six dollars. And, and they're plastic, of course, but I wear them as slippers, as you can see. And then I got myself another pair of, um, you know, those crocky type shoes um, to wear when I wash the car or I want to go take the dog for a walk or whatever. If I get mud, or dirty, I can just, you know, rinse them off in the sink. Or put, I, I've actually put these in the wash already, and they're brand new, but I got a bunch of mud on the bottom. And so I kind of tapped them off, and I put them in the wash. But like I said, you guys need to go check out the Dollar General. Um, and I'm sure that other stores, like Family Dollar, they may have some clearance. I haven't been to the Family Dollar, but the only reason I really kind of favor the Dollar General is because it's just two seconds up the street from where I live. So, um, But anyway, I wanted to show you a couple more things. Um, like I said, if you're into gardening and you want to just, I'm not saying I'm a gardener, but I'm going to work on planting these next year. And I don't know if impatience are... Uh, perennials or if they're annuals perennials are more are permanent um, they come up every year these may be annuals but it doesn't matter because I'll plant them next spring and I'll use all my little garden stuff that I got and w I forgot to mention too we have a huge garden in a different location from our home and um, and it's big and my husband often will go out there and um, water and so he took advantage of the sales that they had at Dollar General. And he, I think he grabbed like three of these for 40 cents each. But um, 
the sprinkler doflatches, he can use mine if he chooses to go and use them at the garden. But of course, I would want him to bring them back because I want to use them in my yard. But anyway, I wanted to show you um, some of these goodies here and hope you guys get a chance to check out some of this clearance. And keep in mind, I still have a reborn baby that I have reduced from, started out 150, I went down to 125, now I'm down to, I think I said um, uh, $85, I'm not sure, I have to double check, but please um, look at my video on the baby that I have for sale, and if anyone's interested, just let me know. Alright guys, love you so much, and I will see you soon, bye!